I am able in PHP to inject content from one file into another file um, using an include statement. And it works kind of like this. So here I've got a, a page set up called demos. Um, I've got an H1 called my page one. I've got some main content. Right now, if I click on this, this is what it looks like. So I have an H1. I have some content. I've styled it so it goes over to the right-hand side of the page. I similarly have a second page, my page two, same basic framework, whatever. Um, I might have a component that I want to include on both pages, but it might be something that's going to change over time. Um, maybe a set of links, like a navigation bar or something. So I don't want to have to go to every page in my website. Let's say there's a hundred pages, a thousand pages. I don't want to have to go to every page in my website every time I want to update that navigation menu. I want to go to one location and update it and then have that new version appear in all my different files. So what I can do is I can set it up outside of these pages that are going to include it. So here is what I've got. I've got a little nav. Um, it's just an unordered list with some empty links on it. Right now these aren't going anywhere, but that's okay. Um, and what I can do is I can tell PHP to include that page. So here's what it looks like. Um, I've got to open my PHP tag and then inside here the command to pull that content in is just the word include and then the name of the file do you want to include so this is called content to inject and I have just chosen this name for demonstration purposes you could name this file whatever you want and I'm going to put that on both my pages okay uh, and I have already in my style sheet I've styled that so that it'll float to the left and take up 20% and have a little border. My main content, just so you can see where it's located, it has a background color of gray and is designed to go over to the right hand side so there's room. So I've included my file now. Here it is, there's my nav bar appearing on my first page. Okay, so what would make sense to have on our links? Um, well, links between the pages, right? So let's have demos.php be the first link, so let's just call this page one, oops, and we'll call this demos2.php, call this page two. Okay, so I've made that update. Let me go over here and refresh. Now it's updated on this page. So here I'm on page one, so my link just leads me to the same spot, page two. Here I am on page two. You can tell because the heading changed. Notice my nav bar is still here. It updates on both pages whenever I update it in one place. So if I add a link to Google, it will automatically be updated in both locations. There it is. And if I go back to page one, it's also here because that content is being included into the page from a single source. So I have one point of update. Okay. This is great for navigation bars. This is great for like website headers that are very elaborate and footers because those are usually the same on every single page. Um, so if I want to include content consistently across my entire website, which is very large, and I only want to have to go to one place to edit it, include it is a good option for that.